Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing episode number 31 of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams into the best teams possible for my team in limited and or competitive play based on how much MT they have and what their squad is currently looking like. If you want to be featured in a future episode of this series, make sure you follow me on Twitter and be on the lookout for a tweet about this series, typically on Friday nights. Um, my Twitter is down in the description below, so go drop a follow over there and be on the lookout for a tweet about this series next week. Drop your team under that tweet and uh yeah good chance you'll be picked for next week's video but uh yeah before we have the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 4,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day we're literally less than 35 subscribers away so i'd love to hit that mark within the next couple of days so make sure you all do subscribe if you haven't already without further ado let's hop right into it let's start off with the first team today which comes in from 41 season he's on current gen's got about 500,000 mt and looking at the squad i definitely do like what i'm looking at um I think it's a good start for a squad for sure. I think there are a couple of things that you can definitely change to potentially upgrade the squad just a bit. One of those first things that I would recommend is picking up another point guard. I don't mind Oscar and I do like Wade a lot. I think Wade is still very, very good. But for me personally, I would probably move Wade to the bench, sell Oscar, and then look to pick up a guy like Zach Levine. He's not a ridiculously expensive. He definitely is a somewhat expensive card, but I think he's going to be worth the upgrade. Give you two elite offensive point guards who can really carry the load on that end. And then the next position I might consider upgrading would be your backup shooting guard. I think you can upgrade Ray Allen to a guy like Ben Wallace for a very, very cheap, really basically, I mean, it's, it's just not, it's just not a significant cost to pay even for a somewhat badged out uh, Ben Wallace. So you could pick him up, replace Ray Allen. That gives you a lot more defense off your bench and really doesn't take away much from anything except for maybe shooting. But even Ben Wallace, when he's open, especially with the shooting batters, can definitely green pretty consistently as well. The rest of your team, I definitely do think is solid. If you wanted to upgrade one more position, I would say definitely it would be the power forward position. You can pick one of Bull Bull and Tim Duncan, whoever you prefer, play them off the bench and pick up a guy like Thon Maker to start at the power forward position. The new Thon Maker is definitely an absolute beast. Great size. Really, really good all around card. Definitely think he would be another great option to pick up if you were looking to upgrade that power forward position. But besides those three upgrades, I definitely like the way the squad is coming out, coming along. Next in day comes in from no money spent slash all money spent. God, uh, 1.5 mil with Katie selling. Uh, don't like spending a lot of MT till end game. Giddy will come in in his starting point guard for about a week. Okay, so my first thing with this team is I do think you have a solid basis with free cards and things like that, but I definitely do think you're going to have, I mean, you're going to have over 2 million MT. Like, I think you can definitely make some upgrades to the squad while still in maintaining that integrity with a lot of free cards and not spend a ridiculous amount of MT. Now, the way that I would go about starting to do that would be to pick up another point guard. I know you're going to get giddy in about a week, but first of all, before, even before you get giddy, I would pick up a PG. And I think Dwayne Wade is a cheap and elite option that you can pick up if you're trying to save your MT, but also give yourself a really good option. So then you have Giddy and Wade as your point guards once you get Josh Giddy. At the shooting guard position, definitely going to want to pick up another shooting guard as well. I think Kazzy Russell would be a great option to play next to Josh Giddy. Maybe you start Wade and play uh, Vince Carter at the two, and then you bring Josh Giddy off the bench with Kazzy Russell at the two, and then Kazzy can be your primary ball handler off the bench. Um, at that point, I think Dumas is fine at the three. I would look to upgrade the backup three. Um, <clears throat> and again, I think you can do that with a relatively cheap amount of MT. Uh, Jonathan Isaac is only, I mean, I've heard he's like 30 40k like he's very very reasonably priced and he has an absolutely incredible card even as a base card i think he's better than dumas even as a base card so you pick him up slide him in at the starting three bring dumas off the bench of the three and that solves another spot next chris weber and ralph sampson both of whom are fine but i would move them to the bench so you can replace sharif and bill walton so move chris weber to the bench move ralph sampson to the bench and pick up a power forward and center the guys that i would recommend are thon maker and david robinson both of whom you can get around that 100k mt mark d rob might be a little bit more expensive but I think you pick up both those guys and then combined you've had you'd have picked up five cards which are gonna be Dwayne Wade um <clears throat> Cassie Russell, J J Jonathan Allen, I'm sorry, oh, Jonathan Allen, Jonathan Isaac, Thon Maker, and David Robinson. Those five guys combined, you're probably going to spend maybe just over 300,000 MT, uh, 350,000 MT, which is still going to give you more than that 1.5 mil that you have once KD sells uh, and a much, much better, much more well rounded squad. So definitely do think this is going to be a big upgrade for your team if you just pick up those five guys for a relatively reasonable price. 300K is the next amount of MT for my boy Ant Man. He's got considering selling Jordan. He's good, but 600K plus good. Good. I'm gonna be honest. I think he's 600K plus good. He is the best card in my team. He is so so good. So dominant at the PG position. 
I wouldn't sell him, to be completely honest. The rest of your team, with 300k, you can potentially look to upgrade a little bit, potentially the shooting guard position by upgrading um, Scotty and or RJ. Um, but honestly, this is a very, very well-built team already. I don't think you are in need of significant upgrades. If you wanted to, you could potentially upgrade that shooting guard position. Like I said, looking at guys like... Honestly, out of the out of the cheap shooting guards, so like I me, mean, Akazi Russell's an upgrade over R.J. Barrett, uh, but that's about the only thing I can recommend. Maybe uh, Danny Ferry over Rudy Gay, um, potentially grind out James Worthy, replacing Rudy Gay with him. Uh, maybe if you get Bob Nedelicki, I don't know if you're targeting him, but if you get him, you can replace Tim Duncan with him. But at this point, honestly, Kazi Russell might be the only paid upgrade that I would look to make. The rest of your team is very, very well built, and I think you can potentially look to use some free cards like a James Worthy, like a Bob Nedelicki, like an Albert King, if you get lucky and get him on the clutch time wheel spend those types of guys can be really big upgrades for your team that won't cause you to spend them tea and will really allow you to keep the rest of your in your team intact and i do think jordan is an absolute god so i would hold on to him for now next squad today comes in from reborn he's got 50,000 mt wade jb jonathan isaac tim duncan and d rob with brad beal rj barrett jeremy grant josh smith and hakeem off the bench definitely not a bad squad i like the way it's built um I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure with 50k you can make significant upgrades. I think the one position that you are going to want to look to target in the near future, though, is the point guard position. And honestly, one card that I'd recommend that you target is Josh Giddy. I know he's a grindable card, not a card you can buy in the auction house, but I definitely think that picking up Josh Giddy over the next couple of weeks, grinding him out for level 40, is going to give you a lot more size and versatility at your PG position because he's going to give you a big PG that you can pair next to Wade and have a tall PG and a small offensive PG. And honestly, once you get Giddy, Giddy, I would also pick up Kazzy Russell, put Giddy and Kazzy next to each other. So Kazzy can be that primary ball handler, and you can have Wade and JB next to each other, where Wade is the primary ball handler and Jalen Brown is that defensive guy. Rest of your squad, I think, is very well built, especially if you're only having 50,000 MT. No significant upgrades that I would make right now. Potentially, if you do fall into some more MT somehow, maybe Thon Maker for Tim Duncan. That would be an upgrade that you could even potentially get close to making right now if you sold Tim and picked up Thon. But that's probably the only thing that I'm looking at right now is definitely targeting a uh, point guard point guard and i think giddy's the perfect guy for you and then at some point looking to upgrade the power forward position as well hero uh has got about 800k plays on current gen a very very nice squad i played hero actually uh earlier today i guess yesterday um when i'm recording this video but i played him in the caveman money shot tournament um um, earlier on my Twitch channel, actually. So go follow me on Twitch if you haven't. That's where I play all my competitive series and stuff. But here is a very, very solid player. Definitely impressed me. Um, gave me a much bigger fight than I expected that he would. Um, and honestly, has a very, very well built team already with 800K. I think that the best upgrade you can make is Michael Jordan. I know, I know you have a good all-around squad and MJ is super expensive, but I do think picking up MJ for Oscar Robertson and then having Wade off your bench is the way to go. It's going to give you just an incredible elite starting lineup with some of the best cards in the game at every single position. And then you have this bench that's already very, very well built, very good, and has a lot of depth and elite budget options at the at, at really every position. So I think that is the one upgrade I'd look to make is Michael Jordan. I know he's incredibly expensive. I think he's worth it. You're going to have an incredible team. And uh, yeah, you will not regret picking up MJ. Um, Cal has 44,000 MT looking to sell. Uh, dunked over Jokic potentially. I'm not sure. I think Jokic, if you sold him, you'd have around 100K would be my guess. Plan for Giddy to take Jalen Rose's place and Matumbo to take Tim Duncan's spot. So d -Rock can go to the back of power forward. Okay, so we're going to, I'm just going to factor those in. Um, so you're going to point guards are going to be Luca and Giddy because you're almost to Giddy. Giannis and AD at the two. Thurl Bailey and Jonathan Isaac at the three. John Th Maker, D Rob, KP, and Dikembe. Definitely at that point, that's a very, very good team. One thing you might want to consider potentially is picking up a guy at some point who can be another ball handler because I don't think Giddy is that primary ball handler off the bench. Obviously, Luke is your primary ball handler in the starting lineup. And then you have a guy like Thon who can be a bit of a secondary ball handler as well. Even Giannis can go get a bucket, things like that. But off the bench, I think if Giddy's your primary ball handler, you might occasionally struggle to score just a bit, especially because Anthony Davis, Jonathan Isaac aren't the most incredible scorers themselves. But I think you can potentially look to pick up a guy even if it's just last three putting a guy like Kazzy russell in your last three just so you have the versatility to put another ball handler if you feel like you need it off the bench uh, otherwise, I really do think you have a great, really well-built squad, especially when you make these couple adjustments, adding Giddy, adding Matumbo. Uh, very, very good team. Like that you got Luka as well. He's arguably the best PG on next gen. So very, very good squad all the way around. And then finally, we have Dylan's team, 600K on next gen. 
uh, MJ and Luca, two best PGs on next gen, Giannis, Mullen, KD, PG, Jokic, Jonathan, Isaac, KP, and Kareem. Obviously, this is an incredible team. I don't think I need to tell you that. You have one of the best possible teams in the game, dang near every single card, and 600,000 MT. For me personally, though, I still would be looking to upgrade your power forward position. I don't like that Jokic card that much. I don't think he's bad, but I think you have the MT, especially, I mean, you sell Jokic, you're gonna have dang near 700 KMT. Go get a Blake Griffin. He's the best power forward in my team. He is so, so good. Blake is an elite, elite option. I think you pick him up. For Jokic, obviously, it's going to cost you a couple hundred thousand MT. I think it's 100% worth. And at that point, you got dang near the best team you could possibly build right now. Like, this is an absolutely incredible squad, but definitely would get that Jokic out of the lineup and go pick yourself up a Dark Matter Blake Griffin to build an absolutely insane team. So that is going to do it for this video those are my recommendations for all these teams hopefully they do help you out and hopefully i was able to get to your team in today's video if not again follow me on twitter be on the lookout for a tweet about this series next week drop your team under that series or under that tweet the earlier the better so that hopefully i can get to your team before i record the video and uh yeah if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace